So let's now go to page 37 where Mr. Mohi is going to give us a rendition in Chinese now. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, on to <laughs> order. On to uh, the next paper, please, uh, Mr. A.D. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, and this paper is self-explanatory. Um, I think we, towards the end of last year, and I think it was November or early December, we had a um, delegation from our sister city in Suzhou in China, um, with the deputy, or well, including the vice mayor. Um, and other officials, and there was a strong um, plea that um, 2016, being the 10th anniversary of the signing of that uh, friendship agreement with uh, Suzhou, that we recognise that with a, um, a delegation going to Suzhou. Um, you will recall, though, that at the beginning of, or when budgets were being developed for the 10-year plan that at that time the government in China had pretty well stopped all overseas travel. Um, that suddenly released and in since October we have had four delegations from Suzhou which we have hosted um, and the they would dearly like to see a delegation from Hawke's Bay um, there this year. Um, I recognise that um, while well, the best times to travel are September or well, the spring or autumn, which is September or March, April, and September is definitely out for most councillors, I would suggest, because of the local body elections, but um, we are so, and hence the reason why the suggestion is for April. So, um, it, but. Um, Budgets have been, uh, there are no budgets there, so this would be an unbudgeted item, and um, uh, I'll probably leave it to Mr. Drury just to explain how we might magic up some money for that. <laughs> Mike certainly giving me the hard job. Um, no, uh, during the long-term plan, this money was taken taken out. It'd been there for a while and um, spent in some years and, and not other years, so no, it was taken out. Um, I mean, uh, where would the money come from? It would sometimes come from budgeted um, or expenditure unbudgeted, uh, but that contingency provision's now gone to the amalgamation poll and then some. So I, I would suggest if there was um, if there was a willingness to, 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 to go to Shuzhou that um, uh, current budgets would be looked at. And I just had a quick look at the um, travel budgets for councillors, um, and it's 50 to 60,000 at the moment. Um, the expenditure there is just under 30, so so um, it's a matter, um, I suppose, of prioritisation in a way. Yeah. So there is some, there is, there is with, there prioritis is, with yeah. prioritisation there is uh, potentially funding an existing budget? With prioritisation. Okay. So, um, so, Mr Chairman, is it envisaged that um, the, any business people would, would accompany you? at their own cost? Well, would be encouraged, but that's probably why a decision has to be made today yeah. to get people um, interested and organised, I suspect. Mm -hmm. uh, look, this is, this is early. I'm early prepared to move that the delegation um, visits um, in March, but that, and add to it, that um, the Hawke's Bay Chamber of Commerce be invited to um, to assist um, appropriate business persons to join the delegation. Okay, well, be, thank you. Before we get to that, though, there, there was some other questions. I see Councillor Hewitt had a hand up, but we, we'll come back to that. Thank, thank you. you. I'm, I'm on the same vein. I suspect um, I was going to ask, has there been a discussion with Tourism Hawke's Bay and was any part of this considering it suggested that there's some involvement with travel agents over in um, yeah, No, she, in answer to your question, no, she hasn't been, um, um, there's been no formal discussions with Hawke's Bay Tourism. I think, again, um, uh, any approach to any other organisation will be contingent upon a decision that's made today. Um, Councillor Bevan. 
Yeah, Chair, I'm sorry, I'm a real cynic about this sort of thing. Um, I note that this sister city relationship is now 10 years old. Um, it says 1.2, the key purpose for such a relationship to be for development of trade and economic opportunities. I want to know in the 10 years whether anything's ever happened. All we've got in this paper is the mention of a failed Jinko production. What else has happened? <coughs> Um, it's fair to say that there's, there, there have been quite a lot of activities. Um, I think um, uh, they were listed in a previous paper, um, but possibly not in the, in the, in the um, term of this council. Um, it is fair to say, though, that any dealings with um, China are a long-term relationship um, and, and uh, uh, rely on that those those relationships developed over that long term. Um, Chamber of Commerce attear, um, visited with us with the last delegation that was 2011, signed a, a mutual agreement, and they have been dealing with a lot of the business issues, um, a lot of them. And although they will give us um, information in general terms, obviously the, the business dealings, business to business, are largely confidential. So we don't get a lot of feedback, but we are encouraged to carry on that relationship because it is beneficial for trade in Hawke's Bay. So that's the feedback we're getting from um, Chamber of Commerce. <coughs> How long before the watch guarantees run out? <laughs> the six months, you'll be right. Any other questions? Councillor Dick. Well, Mr Chairman, <coughs> I, I will move as I foreshadowed, um, but have the resolution indicate that um, that participation uh, from business uh, through the Chamber of Commerce and, and Hawke's Bay Tourism uh, be encouraged. Uh, if there's a seconder, I'll, um, I'll s explain. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, our sister city relationships are not about trade. It's, it, trade is very important, but the, f the foundation of them is uh, in international friendship and understanding and uh, cultural exchange and awareness between nations. But um, trade is important. The Ginkgo venture uh, now is actually operating very successfully. Um, it did have it hitch, its hitches, but they've, they've gone beyond that and uh, growers are producing and product is being exported. Um, and there are uh, other activities as well. And when you're dealing with um, the, what is it now, the second largest world economy um, and a government, uh, a one-party government which is hierarchical, um, then trade follows the flag. A lot of respect is given to um, elected officials, parliamentarians, councillors, councils, and um, the, the contacts that are established are a way of opening the door for those, the benefits of those relationships, including, uh, say, cultural awareness, friendship, and trade. Um, it's a pretty minor sum. It's a big, big market, and uh, I just think we should keep it going. I mean, the, the the TAs have, have all got uh, relationships to one extent or another, but I believe that Shuzhou, and I've been there in, uh, in the very early days, uh, before it was formally um, constituted as a regional council uh, uh, sister city, and that was done incidentally because um, Napier City had a relationship. They also had a, a, an existing relationship with Liangyang Gang, and uh, so that they were not to be seen to be um, <coughs> being um, <coughs> inappropriate in, in relationships, then it, w it was suggested that 
that Hawke's Bay Regional Council take it over and, and that has been a successful outcome and I believe that Suzhou for Hawke's Bay has the greatest potential of any of those relationships um, across the bay and across the, the TA connections. Thank you. Second, do you wish to speak? Um, I would um, endorse, I would endorse what um, Councillor Dick said, and actually I do believe it was Councillor Dick who um, overcame the mistress connotations by signing a friendship agreement um, with the Shuzhou in those early days. And it has been quite good to see that, that through, which um, I have been involved in um, that phase of it. Uh, there have been benefits out of this, and one of the early days of signing this was a cultural exchange of the um, uh, miniatures, which they had hoped to bring out and display, or some of them, a selection of them. And um, the Buried Army is, is, I think, one of the really exciting artefacts that, that there is. This day and age of digital presentations, even if it didn't actually take place, there is room here for really doing a stunning virtual display of that and getting us, you know, getting some of that history um, out here on display. And it's, it's a very exciting. When they had the um, um, Shan warriors in Wellington, people queued for hours to go and see them. Well, I think these are more exquisite than <coughs> the um, Shan warriors, and I think it would be a real plus if we could get even some small part of it here, but certainly there's a huge potential for being able to digitally present a lot of that information here. So there's a lot to be said for the cultural exchange as well. And there has been an awful lot on the education side of it growing out of this. There have been um, quite a few things going on on the side. And I think if you actually sat down and said, well, where are the benefits? Yes, there have been benefits. So but 10 years on, I think that this is an important landmark and we should mark it. Councillor Graham. Whether we um, think these things are important or not, one thing for sure, the Chinese do think they're important. Um, and it's quite, it's always difficult to quantify um, the economic benefits. And I think in this, <coughs> and I think it'd be difficult to argue that there's been um, a, a, any reasonable economic benefits. But you've got to look at these things as, not specifically, but as the overview. And I think um, a lot of businesses in Hawke's Bay don't do that, and they don't do that well. Um, they, we are still in a trade um, mode, and the Chinese are never in that mode. They are in a relationship mode. So understanding their culture is really important. Um, I don't think um, a whole delegation needs to go, but um, certainly uh, it's important, not just for Hawke's Bay, but for New Zealand, um, continuing to go, and it's a small sum of num amount of money, as Councillor Dick pointed out, and I think it's worth it um, for our chair to go and perhaps somebody else senior to go, um, just to maintain that relationship because you really never know when you're going to need it. Um, and if you had a cultural, um, I don't know the cultural, I don't know these miniatures, um, but you know, if you could bring something like that back to Hawke's Bay, that would be quite stunning because we are, it is our biggest trading partner. And um, just as a buyer, I've been in China for 15 years um, at a business, it is, complex every day it's like dealing with Maoris actually every day you deal with them you realize how little you know <laughs> and I often I often um, relate the two things the two such hugely different culture um, uh, from from our European culture to Maori culture and Chinese so any little piece that we can get and any relationship we can build is good for this nation and I think um, it's a small sum of note. I think chair should go and perhaps a few others. And some business people, but really, you're building on a cultural and political level uh, first. And that takes years. Councillor Graham is, is absolutely right. It's about relationships with the Chinese. It's not necessarily about the trade. And, and I think it's very difficult to sometimes quantify exactly what 
the value is on these relationships um, because of a point that um, Mike made about the confidentiality with some businesses they don't want to actually say how much how much value they're actually getting out of that relationship so I think in going there it's it's playing the long game um, we've got a friendship relationship with them we've got a, a sister city relationship and unless you pay some attention to that um, I think like any relationship unless you pay your atten attention to the relationship it, it, it can falter and I think it's so important this particular relationship you know into the future um, one of the things that's happening at the present time is that the um, with tourism the number of Chinese that are coming here to New Zealand at the moment is expanding uh, is increasing incredibly um, and I think that you know it's important that Hawke's Bay kind of flies the flag even if it is just in this one city um, it will be important I think for us to actually fly the flag for Hawke's Bay and say what we've what we've got here so uh, that along with the the fact of having some of the business people from the from the chamber coming would be very would be very beneficial I'm not too sure whether I can whether depending on dates whether I could go but I've been on a number of these with the Napier City Council before and they are very very worthwhile um, and it's about understanding the culture it's about building that relationship up between the Chinese and between us. Other speakers, uh, Councillor Bevan. I, I regret to say to you, I've seldom heard so much hot air issued on a on a motion that's being debated as we've just heard from the previous speakers. Um, just extraordinary that um, it says it says at the beginning of this paper, key purpose of such a relationship is for development of trade and economic opportunities. And we've had everybody say, well, not much has happened, if anything. Um, but that's not the important thing. The important thing is the long game, and so on it goes on. The problem is we've got ourselves in a bit of a fix, because if we don't do this, it's a slap in the pace for the people that we're, whose invitation we're refusing. So with a huge amount of reluctance, and luckily it's not a lot of money, I will agree with this, but it's, I see it just as a waste of time. <coughs> I agree with Councillor Bevan, except for his final <laughs> <laughs> decision. This, you know, Hawke's Bay needs a, a, a China strategy. Uh, it doesn't need a bunch of piddly little $15,000 trips that have no mission or, or apparently conscious purpose behind them, uh, other than a bunch of platitudes about relationships. I think this is a complete waste of time uh, lacking such a strategy. I'm voting against it. All right. Um, look, let's. I think we've heard all the views here. Do you wish to sum up, Councillor Dick? No, I think it's, it's all been well said, um, and I'd recommend that um, uh, Councillor Bevan goes on the trip and sees for himself. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, let's uh, let's test it with, with the uh, with the with the recommendation. All those in favour, please say aye. Contrary, no. Carried. Thank you. We're, we're